It marks 50 years since Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was shot and killed in Memphis, Tennessee. CBS reporter Mark Strassman shows us how those who remember are not only looking back at his legacy, but ahead to the future. The Lorraine Motel, where Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated 50 years ago, today stages a day of remembrance and reflection. The events kicked off with excerpts from Dr. King's spellbinding speeches. Somewhere I read that the greatness of America is the right to protest far right. Keep on talking. Commemorations began Tuesday evening at the Memphis church where Dr. King delivered his last speech. His children gathered at the pulpit to celebrate their father's work and legacy. I know. God didn't bring us this far to leave us. Martin Luther King III told the crowd the civil rights movement lives on through his father's model of nonviolent protest. I believe the coalition of Black Lives Matter, of the Me Too movement, of these young people, we're going to see folks coming to the polls like never before. Since the assassination, the motel where Dr. King was shot has become the National Civil Rights Museum, the host of today's commemoration. Despite the civil rights progress over the last half century, the museum's president says America needs to complete Dr. King's vision of peace and justice. The issues persist that Dr. King came to Memphis to um, focus on, and in fact, in some ways, they've gotten worse. Today's remembrance is also a reunion of the movement's old guard, many of whom marched with Dr. King. They see this anniversary as a reminder of how far America has come and how far we still have to go. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Memphis.